Hey, what's up guys? This is Michael from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you guys a Facebook ads dashboard that I built for Google Data Studio and Google Sheets. So first I'm going to walk you guys through the dashboard and then I'm going to show you guys how it works and how you can download this for yourself and use it for your own Facebook campaigns. So this is the dashboard itself. It's a viewed inside Google Data Studio, which is a free dashboarding tool by Google. And then all the data is coming from a Google spreadsheet. So when you first open up the dashboard, you're going to see the main section over here. Um, by the way, this is a the example I'm using is for an e-commerce company. So this is for an e-commerce company that's running Facebook ads. And then this is so the metrics are geared more towards an e-commerce company. So what you'll see here are some main KPIs for the previous week. It's going to audit when you open it up, it's automatically going to default to the previous week. I think it goes from Monday through Saturday. So in this case, it's uh, June 15th. So let's see, June 15th is a Monday. Yeah, so it's Monday through Saturday. Um, and what you're gonna see is a few main KPIs. You're gonna see the amount of ad spend, the return on ad spend, the revenue generated, the amount of link clicks, the cost per click, and the impressions. Now you can easily change these metrics to whatever you want, but these are the ones I've chosen for now. And you'll see here, then you can see a comparison to the week prior to it. So now it's gonna compare it to um, June June 8th through June 20th so it's going to be a minus 75% on the amount spend and etc cetera, etc cetera. right so this is the only section that's going to default to the previous week the rest of the dashboard is going to be a much a much larger date range in this case it's going to default to this year to date and the reason for that is so that we can open it up and we can easily see just one week's numbers but then we can scroll down and kind of get like a larger view of how it fits inside how everything is trending. So the first table you'll see is going to be an overview. It's just going to have the amount of ad spend and then the revenue generated. And it's going to default by um, by month. So I can see how the amount spend is trending by month and then how the revenue is also going right. And the cool thing is what we can do is we can actually click here to drill it down into a weekly a weekly level. So if you see here, these numbers are going to be for this week over here. Um, and you can see how it's doing in each seven day period, right? How it's trending by week. And you can even drill down to day if you really wanted to, even though that's a bit granular. But you can, you can always adjust this date range to a smaller date range. So it's going to default to a month view. The second section we'll see is a breakdown table. And this is um, going to be more de a more detailed view of... Um, of the main metrics, but it's going to be grouped by month, right? So now we're going to see June, we're going to see the amount spent, the number of clicks, purchases, revenue, the cost per purchase, and the ROAS for each of this. And just like this, you can drill it down into a week period. So now it's June 15th and June 8th and so forth. And then you can uh, drill it down even further to a daily. So you can see the daily numbers as well. And then um, this section, and then you can see here they have bars to kind of help you just quickly visualize and see which week is the highest and you can kind of see which weeks are inefficient and so on. And then there's totals down here as well. The next section is going to be a revenue breakdown. And what this is, is it's going to be the revenue generated by each campaign. And so I can quickly see which campaign is bringing us the most revenue. In this case, if you're running more than 10 campaigns, it's going to show the top nine and then it's going to group the rest into a category called others. So I can see here quickly that campaign 66 is bringing us the most revenue at 10.8%. And then the next one is going to be campaign 118 and so forth. The very last section is a campaign breakdown. It's just a more detailed breakdown by campaign. So I can see the amount spent, the clicks, the, purchase, the purchases, the revenue, cost per purchase, and the ROAS. And right now I set it to just these bars, but you can actually easily change this to um, show either the numbers or just kind of different format. And I can show you guys how to do that in a, in a future video. But yeah, so this is basically how the dashboard works. Um, there's also a campaign filter so I just want to see one campaign. I can just click on only and it's going to filter the entire dashboard and only show data for this one specific campaign, right? Like this. Um, and then I can click back and then click here to select all of them again. And a cool thing is if you're kind of looking at this data, like um, in this section over here, and then you say, okay, I only want to look at June's data. 
you can just click here on June and it's going to automatically filter everything by this particular week. So now the revenue is going to break down by just June, right? Um, and then the campaigns, it's only going to show data for June and then I can click here to set it back. And you can do it for a week too. So if I drill down and look at this by week and I want to see just one week's data, I can click here and it's going to filter everything by this particular week, right? And the same thing with the campaigns. If I'm looking at the data here and I want to see just one campaign, I can click on the campaign and it's going to filter everything and it only show us one campaign for all of this entire period. So I can see how this campaign is, is trending. I can click here. So it's really dynamic. You can really uh, show your clients or yourself. You can really give yourself a really great view of how your campaigns are doing in a way that you can't really do it on the Facebook ads dashboard that they provide. So uh, yeah, this is a really easy way to look at all your data. And um, so if you want to download this template, I'm going to leave a couple links below um, where you can purchase the template. And what it's going to come with is, is a series of videos of walking you through step by step exactly how to download the data from Facebook ads how to uh, paste it into a Google Sheet, and then I will also show you guys how to connect it to Data Studio so you can basically, um, uh, yeah, so basically every time you paste in the data into Google Sheets, this is automatically gonna update. You can even force an update by clicking a refresh button, but it's gonna update basically automatically, and you can also um, edit the template however you want, and I can show you guys how to do basic edits on how to change the metrics that you want or change the kind of the chart types. Uh, but this is a great template to start with. I've worked with many Facebook, with many companies that run Facebook ads, and I've kind of uh, created like a, a one, sh one fits all kind of template, the format that I see that most of my clients want. So it's going to be all in this, um, in this template I'm going I'm to offer you guys. Um, so yeah, make sure to check out the, the link below. And uh, if you guys will have any questions, leave it in the comments below or shoot me an email. Thanks a lot, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. Thanks.